So we calculated that if you have a concentration of urea in your plasma of 10 milligrams per deciliter, then the amount that you filter every minute is going to be that times GFR. And if your GFR is 100 milliliters per minute, then that works out to 10 milligrams per minute. So then I have a question for you, which is how much urea are you going to pee out every minute? And on first glance, you might be tempted to say 10 milligrams per minute. Because if you look over here at a nephron, you see that whatever is filtered out of the glomerulus has nowhere else to go other than down the tubules of the nephron into a collecting tubule through the urinary collecting system to the bladder, eventually to be peed out. But actually, your answer would be wrong. Because there is somewhere else that this urea can go, and namely, it can be reabsorbed. So as it goes through the nephron, it can get reabsorbed. If we draw that over here, that might be here. And we mentioned this process, reabsorption. What we didn't mention is that there's actually also an opposite process, which is not relevant for urea, but in general it's important to know about. And that opposite process is called secretion. And the idea of secretion is that instead of reabsorbing something, into your bloodstream, you can actually take something from your bloodstream and put it directly into the tubules of the kidney through the walls of the tubule rather than by filtering it at the glomerulus. So now in the case of urea, some of it actually is reabsorbed and the amount in this case might be about five milligrams per minute. So about half the amount that you filtered might get reabsorbed into your bloodstream which leaves the other half to get excreted so you'll be excreting about five milligrams per minute. And now you might have a question which is, well, urea is a waste and we're trying to get rid of it, so why are we reabsorbing it? And that would be a really good question. And the answer is that the body doesn't necessarily want to reabsorb urea, but it happens anyway. Because urea is a small molecule, it can diffuse pretty easily, so you do end up reabsorbing some even though you probably don't want to. Now this doesn't happen for all wastes that you excrete. And for example, there's one waste that you excrete called creatinine. And that's actually a breakdown product of muscle creatine. Creatine is a molecule in muscle. And creatinine might have a concentration of maybe one milligram per deciliter in your plasma. And so since it's freely filtered here in the capillaries, just like urea, just like sodium, that means the amount that's filtered here at the glomerulus would be about one milligram per minute. And creatinine is not reabsorbed. So none of it is reabsorbed. Actually, it is secreted by a tiny amount. So there is a tiny bit of secretion of creatinine into the tubules. But mostly this one milligram per minute is what you're going to excrete. So down here you'll be excreting about one milligram per minute, maybe a little more given that you secreted some, but about a milligram per minute. And one thing I want to make clear is that I keep saying that you're peeing out some amount per minute. And you might have a complaint which is that you don't pee every minute. And that would be true. So I guess a more accurate thing for me to say is that you're putting that amount into the bladder per minute. Because the way it works is you fill your bladder continuously and then once it's full you go to the bathroom and empty it.